Dr. Slavin, oral and maxillofacial surgery. Today I'd like to discuss types of toothpaste and which toothpaste to buy. We're all overwhelmed when we go to the drug store or the grocery store and we see all of those toothpastes in the dental care section. Which one to choose? Well, I can tell you that they're probably all very good. As long as you're using a fluoridated toothpaste, that's all you need to do. However, some of the toothpaste today, these high-tech toothpaste that are supposed to whiten your teeth, have caustic substances in them which can actually give you mouth sores. If you're prone to canker sores in your mouth, you should not use one of those whitening toothpaste because you'll be more prone to developing canker sores with those. Additionally, all of the toothpaste, except for a few brands, have a detergent in them called sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLS. If you're prone to mouth sores like canker sores, you should make sure that you get a toothpaste that doesn't have SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate as one of the components. As American consumers, we think that if the toothpaste isn't foaming, it isn't making our teeth clean. Well, in fact, it can and will make your teeth clean if it doesn't foam. The problem with the foaming detergents is that they're very caustic to your tissues, and there's a 60% increase in risk of developing aphthous ulcers or canker sores utilizing a toothpaste with sodium lauryl sulfate in it. There are some toothpastes that don't have sodium lauryl sulfate in them. You can go to the health food store and get one of those. Other ones that one brand that comes to mind is Biotene. Biotene toothpaste did not have sodium lauryl sulfate in it and that's the toothpaste that you'd want to use. As long as you're using a fluoridated toothpaste that's fine. If you're not prone to mouth ulcers, you can use a toothpaste with a detergent, which is the SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate. The last uh, uh, issue that I'd like to discuss is patients that have had radiation to their head and neck and they have a very dry mouth and they still have their own teeth. It's very important that they use a highly fluoridated toothpaste and that's a prescription toothpaste called Prevident 5000. That toothpaste is very important if you've had head and neck radiation, including your mouth, that has caused you to have a dry mouth. It's imperative that you use a highly fluoridated toothpaste like Prevident 5000 with a soft toothbrush. Thank you and have a great day.